Hey everyone, this is VJZ32. Slightly banged up, but I'm back again. <laughs> that being because I ended up in a small little car accident yesterday because some idiot decided to cut through traffic. He ended up stopping, but I had to swerve around him and I ended up hitting the snowbank. And now I gotta get my car fixed. <laughs> and I'm a little bit sore, but I'm alright. <laughs> alright. Uh, first of all, I got a couple of decks to quickly review, but a couple of shout outs. First of all, shout out to Quick Slight. It was his birthday yesterday. Happy birthday. Belated birthday. Go check out Quick Slights. And also, I decided to accept one more new member to the Society of Magic, and that was Mystery Man 731 Go check out his channel. It's pretty good. Alright, here we have a couple of decks I got recently. They're custom decks. This one is from Make playingcards.com and this one is from zazzle.com for the USPC. Well, look at this one first. This one, as you can see, just comes in a plain white box. This is actually one of three options from this company. You can get it in a nice box like this. It costs uh, less than a buck, uh, 30 or 40 cents, I think, to get it in the box. Or you can get it in a plastic case, which I'm not a fan of, so I did not. Or you can get it just in a cellophane, which is the cheapest option. And the box, you can see it's really shiny and smooth. <clears throat> Here's the back design, the custom back design I found. Well, not, I don't know if it's custom or not, but I found it on Google. I liked it. I decided to use it. It worked out nicely because it was borderless when I put it in there. It fit nicely and created the borders <coughs> although they're a little bit off-centered but that's your backs basically here we have the faces spades looks like this hearts I apologize I should have put these in order I did not clubs and diamonds I didn't know okay yet that's kind of what the pips look like Court cards, fairly standard, even though they're not USB-C, they use the USB-C court cards. Although I think the pips... Well, the indices are definitely custom. Uh, not standard, like USB-Cs. And... Yeah. But everything else is the same. Standard. Your jokers look like this. It's a clown type guy, he's got noisemakers and party hats and confetti he's juggling some balls all sorts of stuff going on there and of course it says joking the two corners in red the other one is identical except it's all black and white get rid of that and one more card to look at, of course, the Ace of Spades, which looks like this, just like you see on pretty much any deck from China. <laughs> Nothing much to it. The cards themselves are supposed to have a linen finish. Uh, the other options were, I think it was a plastic coated option and a smooth finish, I believe. I decided to go with air cushion finish. I, I mean, a uh, linen finish, which is essentially air cushion. And it's got a, a decent stock to it. They don't handle too, too badly. They don't fan perfectly, but well, that's to be expected from China. And they, or Taiwan, I should say. And they don't fan exactly the greatest. I was hoping they would be better, although I'm not too surprised at the quality. Because it is from Asia. No offense or anything. <laughs> These ones though, they did not cost me anything. The guys, a guy from uh, Alex from MakePlayingCard.com actually sent me a message on YouTube asking if I wanted to create a deck and he would make it for me to review at no cost. So thank you Alex, thank you MakePlayingCards.com. I appreciate the offer. They suffle nicely, so that's good. <laughs> of 
and I, I apologize I don't really know the price but they I am positive or cheaper than freezazzle.com and the quality is you know pretty much the same although it does feel a little bit stiffer to start I'm not going to do my usual ratings on backs and faces and everything because well I made the back design myself I I I the design was me so I only have myself to blame and the faces well fairly standard so no point saying you know I think the, what the ratings are oh here the nines are a little bit different than what we're used to for the most part but anyways that's that one oops overall it's not bad it's a little bit better than most decks made in Asia. But yeah, it's not too bad. And I don't think the price is too bad. You can't, however, customize any of the faces, just the backs. Well, actually, I lie. You can actually put pictures, oval pictures, or heart shaped pictures or basically something that fills the whole box except for the indice index index i should say some of you correcting me recently saying it's not indice it's index all <laughs> right but yeah that's basically it and of course you can do all sorts of customization with the backs put writing in there put images i believe you can put writing on the faces as well but anyways, I just chose to go something fairly standard. The other one is from Zazzle.com. I pause it this video is a little bit long, but I want to do a little bit of a comparison between the two. It's from Zazzle.com. Comes in a nice bicycle box. First and fun, bicyclecards.com. The other side is the same thing. The top just says standard size. If you could read it, the bottom just some trademark stuff. The back actually has a window where you can actually see the card with the design and no seal. And because of the window, the flap is a little bit different than what we used to, and it's a little bit flimsy. You do get a card that basically shows you the design of the card and has more information on the order. You get a poker guide with an ad for 15% off and it says don't be solitary, share the joy with a friend. So if you want to get some cards from Zazzle, 15% off, just use the code bicycle cards. <laughs> That's my gift to you. Uh, the faces are all fairly standard. I did customize the cord cards. You do have options. I went with this nice blue color to match my back design. This back design is pretty nice, although it's poorly centered and should have been stretched a little bit more. Partially my fault, I should have probably returned it, but I didn't want to have to deal with that. I said screw it. Good enough. <laughs> but you can see how much off it is. <laughs> and you can see these ones have black pips, diamonds and hearts. But not all of them. The Queen, of, the Queen of Hearts, actually has red pips, and one more. If I can find it. The Jack of Diamonds also has red pips. All the other red court cards have black. Pips, like you saw. You get standard jokers, there's one, and then the other one's a guaranteed joker. And again, some nice blue colors. The Ace of Spades, fairly standard, except it has a, a strange font for bicycle and then it says personalized. And the US Point Card Company made you say on the bottom. Other than that, fairly standard. I think it would have looked better if these ones had red pips, but only two of them do. I don't know why. 
that's just the way it is and I actually checked the picture on the website and it was it was like that they actually had one that had red pips and one that had black pips so it wasn't a screw up then you get a joker with a guarantee joker and it says that they want you to love your custom playing cards if you're not satisfied with for any reason you can return it for replacement or refund within 30 days and it says zazzle.com for help <laughs> For this one, you do get some options. You don't get as many, you don't get, you can't, don't have as many options as the other one for the faces. In regards to putting pictures on all the cards. But, you do get options for the court cards. There's about 10 different options for court cards. You can do standard, you can do jumbo size, you can do the uh, low vision court cards. Jumbo index cards, like I said, you can use tragic royalty court cards. You can do this blue color. You can do the uh, ribbon edition, pink ribbon edition court cards. Uh, equal edition court cards. I think they have some of the. They have a whole bunch of options for court cards. About ten different options. The back design I like. It looks nice. This, by the way, was from a deck that was supposed to be made called the Bicycle Limbo deck. Ironically, the Limbo deck ended up in Limbo and it was never made, so I bored with that design. <laughs> These ones, they fan a lot less than the other ones. However, they dribble nicely. They got a nice stock. It's a nice, flexible stock. The other ones are stiffer. I like this one better. It pretty much looks like it has a plastic coating on it. When I can tell it's not the standard air cushion finish, I can tell by the dimples. And unlike the other one, they don't give you options for the finish. The other one actually gives you options. But this one is, I like the cord cards with the blue. This one shuffles really nice. But this one, the only downside, main downside, aside from the handling, is the cost. Because it costs like $20, and then they charge you like $20 for shipping. So, it ends up costing you like $40 for this deck of cards. When you can buy a standard bicycle <laughs> for like a fifth of the price. It's ridiculous, you know. But anyways, overall... I do like the way that these ones supple and everything better, although they don't really fan. Overall though, both decks have some pluses and minuses. The, they both have some good stuff and some bad stuff. Overall, I think they're both <laughs> just as good as each other. So take that with what you will. If you wanted something more affordable that's still semi-decent, go to makeplanecards.com. If you really want something that is USB-C made, with a nice bicycle box, go to Zazzle. And the only thing that checks with Zazzle is they don't have a cheap shipping option. The only one option they give you, and it's GPS, and it's like 20 bucks. So that's the main concern I have with that. <laughs> and a nice thing, of course, with this one is if you don't like like it at all, you can return it for a refund or a replacement. But I didn't do that. <laughs> That is what I've got though, that's my review on these two custom decks from Zazzle and MakePointCards.com. And definitely check out those websites, definitely check out the two channels that I mentioned. Also, as I mentioned quickly, if you have not joined my Facebook group, groups.facebook.com slash bjoz 32 whatever, the link is on my channel page. If you haven't joined that, you may want to because my next contest, my next giveaway next month, I will be doing some of it on Facebook group and not just my channel. So if you want to double your chances of winning, you said join my Facebook group ASAP. Alright. Well, you'll have time because the contest won't start for another week and a half and... You're going to have to hold them up anyways. Anyway, that's what I've got. 
It's a pretty cool bat design, don't you think? <laughs> anyway, I will see you next time. Oh, as I mentioned, if you're looking for giveaways, check out Bob the Blob on YouTube. That's his username on YouTube. Is on Facebook as well, uh, Jeff Breyer, and he's doing a giveaway. You have to go to his website, make a comment on the giveaway post, and you'll be entered. It's that simple. It's got some nice decks, and you got until the end of the month, till the 31st. And I suggest you check it out. Alright, that's what I've got, <laughs> and I'll see you again.